the angels who love the recitation of the Quran, the angels who love Tawbah, the angels who love charity, the angels who love supplication, the angels who love congregations. What night is going to be more beloved to the angels than the most beloved night of Laylatul Qadr, the night of the divine decree? What night are you going to have more people all over the world calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, standing up at night in recitation of the Quran and prayer, fasting that day because it's the month of Ramadan? What night could possibly be greater than that? And what night do the angels look forward to more than that particular night? The Prophet وسلم, he talked about how many angels actually come down that night. And one of the signs of Laylatul Qadr is that the amount of the descent of angels on that night is that they would literally steal the rays of the sun the amount of light that comes. And one of the reasons why it's called Laylatul Qadr, the night of constriction, is because the angels fill up the heavens. And there is so much of the traffic of the angels between the heavens and the earth that they filled it all up, carrying those praises to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. In Jannah, they enter upon you from every door saying, Salamun Alaikum Bima Sabartum, peace, peace, peace. On that night, what are they doing? They're going around to all of the houses of the believers and all the masajids saying salam, 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 salam. There is nothing more heaven-like than that night when the people are standing up in admiration and praise and glory of their Lord and the malaika recognize that. The Prophet وسلم, he said that on that night there are more angels that come to the earth min adadil hasa than rocks that are on the earth. If you were to take every single rock on the earth, every stone and count it, the angels outnumber them on that night of Laylatul Qadr. Abu Huraira also said that there are more angels that night than stars in the galaxy that come down to this earth to say salam, 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 salam. All those angels that are looking for halaqas, all those angels that are looking for Quran, they're finding it on that night in particular. And amongst them, tanazzalu al-mala'ika wa ruhu fiha. Amongst them is none other than Jibreel alayhi salam. The one who brought the Quran to the Prophet Sallallahu on that night comes down every single night to commemorate it on that night. But instead of de descending upon the Prophet Sallallahu to reveal it to him, he's descending upon us as we recite it. And I want you to think about that hadith where uh, Khadija radiallahu anha was in the home and Jibreel alayhi salam told the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to give her my salam, give her salam from her Lord and give her salam from me. And to realize that while you can never be like the Prophet ﷺ and have the Quran revealed to you, but you could be one of those people who doesn't just have any angel come to your home, who doesn't just have a bunch of angels surround your house and your Quran. What if it's your home? What if it's your salah? What if it's your place that Jibreel ﷺ comes to, to particularly convey to you salam? the way that he conveyed salam to Khadija radiallahu anha through the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam except this time coming to you to convey salam as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends him there so don't just think about having any recitation of the Quran don't just think about having any dua make it spectacular and don't discount the idea that maybe just maybe Jibreel alayhi salam would come to your house to convey salam and if anything we know for sure that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of Jibreel and the angels watches you on this great night as you recite the Quran and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from us all.